I'm Bill Mays from the Crown Church of Christ, and here it is Wednesday, October the 26th, and it's my pleasure to bring to you today's Stepping Stone, and we thank you for watching this. Now, today's Stepping Stone is entitled Pink Cotton Candy. Now, the fall is county and state fair times, and when you go to a state fair or some other amusement place, there is one thing that I find that always amazes children, and it's cotton candy. Cotton candy is called candy floss in England and fairy floss in Australia. Cotton candy is delicate, it's often pink and it's sweet, and it disappears with the touch of your tongue. One little girl called it, your or described it as, your tongue is sweet, your mouth wet, and your finger sticky. Pink Cotton candy can almost be described as an illusion. It dissolves as quickly as it is tasted. It has little or no food value. And I guess you could eat a bushel full and still be empty. Now, if I had to pick some object to describe sin, it just might be pink cotton candy. The writer Job describes something like cotton candy in Job 20 verses 12 through 15, he writes, Though he desires it and will not let it go, but holds it in his mouth, yet his, yet his food in his stomach is changed. The venom of cobras within him, he swallows riches and will vomit them up. God will expel them from his belly. Now in this text, Job is describing sin as appealing to the eye. And hard to keep from tasting because it is so sweet. But once it is tasted, it turns sour in the stomach. Now, I've known many a young person to fill up on cotton candy, ride some extreme amusement park ride, and only then at the end of the ride or during the ride with a sour stomach start vomiting. Sin makes many promises that never come true. Like the cotton candy, the promises disappear as quickly as sin is tasted. And we are left with only bitterness, regret, and sourness in our life and a feeling like a sour stomach. King David knew of the sweetness that had real value. And he writes in Psalm 119, 103, How sweet are your words to my taste, yes, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Here David is describing the joy and the value of God's word. God's word makes promises that do not disappear. And God's word adds real and valuable sweetness to our lives. Listen to David in Psalm 34 verse 8. Taste and see that the Lord is good. How blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. I'm wondering, have you taken God's taste test? Are you enjoying the sweetness that never ends, found only in God's word? I challenge you, be a daily Bible reader, a daily Bible student, because only then can you regularly, daily taste the sweet, wonderful blessings of God's word for your life. Now, if there's something amiss in your life spiritually, we would ask that you go to our website, find our email address and contact us and let us know how we might be of help to you spiritually. We thank you for watching this and we hope that you'll join us again next week for another Stepping Stone. God bless. And one other thing I want to add here at the end, we would invite you to come worship with us at the Crumb Church of Christ this coming Sunday for Bible study at 930 and worship at 1030. You would be our honored guest and I hope we get to see you then.